idea. Okay. Okay, cool. We are right on time. Actually, I need to be a minute early. Oh, and I figured we'd do stuff around the house today since we're all at home. Um, but it, it kind of quit raining here for just a second. Uh, if you hear any weird noise, it's the puppy. She, uh, I, I tried to give her a bunch of treats to keep her occupied. So <laughs> won't cry the whole class. She, um, the first Zoom class I did that, that Monday Tai Chi, she, uh, I, I gave her a squeaky toy because that's like what she likes to play with. Well, of course, you know, it happened the whole class. Squeak, 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 squeak. And then so I took that toy away from her. So anyways, um, hopefully more people uh, clicked on. I'll let you mute yourself because like I said, I, you've got a, I've got a jury rigged over there. Um, but thank you all for joining me. Um, those of you that are just checking in, I'll repeat this uh, towards the end. Uh, I am Catherine. Uh, I'm actually in my home today due to the weather. Uh, thank I you can't to get her voice. Come here. You can hear it? Oh. Uh oh, oh yeah. Everybody turn up your volume. Maybe I need to turn up mine too. Um, but, uh, uh oh, it's on the bottom. Uh, I have... <laughs> Okay, I'm all the way up, and I am I going to, uh, okay, I got a chat. Um, thank you all for, oh, yeah, and, and I'm going to mute you all. Yeah, no, I, I got to do, everybody, I'm going to mute you all. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, oh, good morning, Hillary. Great. Okay, back to mute. Okay, and um, tilt a little bit more. Uh, you know, that, that perfect angle. Uh, there we go. There we go. That way you can see my feet and my head. So again, I'm Catherine. Uh, we're uh, with Apple the Athletic Club, but I am home today due to the weather. Uh, management asked me yesterday if I wanted to zoom from home, and I went in this weather. You can do that, chat. But I saw I wore something bright for you because I don't have to worry about it being cold. Um, the first thing we're going to do is sit nice and tall. And I'm sitting in a chair today. I figured we do stuff around our home just because we are at home. Uh, in doing stretching, you're almost kind of better with a chair without arms. But if you don't have them, that's okay. You can do this uh, on your couch. First thing we're going to do is sit up nice and tall so my back is away from the, the back of the chair. I'm going to drop down, tilt to the other side. Oh, open up my neck. We're going to do active isolated today, meaning um, we're going to come into that, run through that range of motion, come into our stretch and range, hold it for a one, two count. Come on back up. If you're with one of the other clubs and you haven't been with us before, uh, I may have to release the puppy because uh, we can't have her crying on class. And I gave her a bunch of treats and she's pretty sharp with that. Oh, good, she's laying down. Um, <laughs> back to the task at hand. Active, isolated, stretching. We are um, running through our normal range of motion, holding for a one, two count. The um, theory is one more, everybody, that uh, the athletes that are real high intensity, they're at, at the risk of going into spasm or tetany. Um, this will prevent them from going into spasm quite so fast. Okay, definitely really soon, puppy. You all keep stretching your neck. Again, you're dropping that shoulder down, tilting your head away. And, uh, yeah. Okay, you, you will be good. You will have manners. She's just a puppy, so no, she's not really going to have manners. So sorry, everybody. Uh, so my, my, um, my Monday midday class is when she takes her nap. Um, pop your left hand down, turn your head to the right. So we're just doing a little bit of rotation, head in the puppy. Um, she's not as well behaved as Summer's dogs, I will say. So because she's just a puppy. And this is not her nap time. This is her like, okay, let's run them up time. Uh, so I was, I was um, concerned about this, but she'll be okay. So she doesn't chew on anything. She's she's still teething, so she's really a chewer. Daddy, no, no, baby, good girl. One more, drop, turn to the other side. Um, she uh, she's a hundred percent mutt. She's no specific breed. She's some kind of terrier. Hi, baby. Um, are you a good girl. So as I turn, I get to pet the dog. A uh, couple more. Uh, one more. This time what we're going to do is we're going to drop our left hand down, we're going to look to our right knee, we're going to tuck our chin, and we're going to drop over to the angle. 
So our levator scapula, this is uh, one of the muscles that we, when we hunch our shoulders, it's one of those muscles we use. And if you're at home and you haven't got your caffeine, uh, and you, uh, you do something that you don't like, feel free not to do it and go uh, get your caffeine or whatever helps wake you up in the morning. Uh, warm lemon water, some folks I know also uh, do. Um, this class is to help you better not to hurt yourself. So again, be nice to yourself as we move through these ranges of motion. Do what works for your body. Um, and like I said, the goal is to have you move better at, uh, at the end. Drop the other hand down, same thing. Look to your opposite knee, come on down at the angle. The other nice thing about active isolated stretching is not only does it work your antagonist or opposite muscles, but it also gets a little bit of blood flow going in there. So it's actually a little bit easier to, to stretch through that range of motion. And if we break down a uh, single uh, axis of motion, sometimes we'll realize your body doesn't like doing that. And what that means is you've had a previous injury in your body that you just subconsciously stopped doing that range of motion. And so you're reestablishing a uh, normal range of motion. Uh, I did call cat, but club, uh, club does have power. Um, one more, everybody. And uh, Chef Arturo is still doing his meals today. So Teddy, <laughs> tuck your cheek back a tiny bit. Drop down. Okay, come on up. Come on down. Again, just opening up the back of our neck. Um, it looks like this from the other side. You're giving yourself a little bit of a double chin and you're tucking on down. Close that one to four. Hey. So from there, go ahead and roll your shoulders back a couple times. Roll them forward. Take your left hand, bring it across your body. Uh, one of our rotator cuff uh, stretches. Infraspinatus has a little bit of a twist in it. So if you want to uh, get a, a little bit deeper stretch, you're going to point your thumb down. You know, she's normally not allowed on the couch with Alex. So I'm like, well, I'm gonna let her up there. She's gonna be quiet. But <laughs> when when we get on the ground, there there will be some face looking. I I we have not gotten past that stage yet, so I gotta pull her Come up to the angle, everyone. And again, your choice. You can skim your shoulder or you can skim your ear. Whatever um, range of motion gets a better stretch for you. Yeah, I think if we do this again, I'm going to put her um, in her X pen in the um, Teddy in the garage. She just gave me that look like, but why? And then we're going to come up and over. And this will be our first opportunity to use the strap. Um, if you don't have a strap, that's okay. Uh, again, this is a multiple uh, axis range of motion. We're going to try to do this guy. If you don't want to do all three of those, you can do just a, a tricep stretch. I got the bear's. Uh, that's right here. I can actually use that as a resist. We can do just adduction or we can add them all in. And of course, I got my great Adelaide Bay Athletic Club hoodie on, and I never can get her, I never can grasp the other hand with the hoodie. So I can always take the strap, bring it here, do this. She's going to the strap um, and, and pull down. Oh, a couple nice deep breaths. I said, if you're at home and you want to turn on some music, that's great. I, I think I figured out how to get music for my Tai Chi class. So I'm, I'm very excited about that. We're going to try that out on Monday. Um, shake that hand out, switch to the other side. So we're going to start here again. Infraspinatus, one of our rotator cuff muscles. Uh, come open, close it up. Um, it's ready me again. Teddy, get up. She's like, I don't get up when you're not up there. You yell at me when I do that. Get up. She's funny. I've never had a dog whine so much. She's just like, just like, I think she, 
she she even whines when she plays with her squeaky toy. I'm like, okay, the dog's form of communication. Uh, we're gonna do one more, everybody. Off at the ankle. And again, your choice of skimming your ear, skimming your shoulder. Give it that nice one, two count when you get all the way into that range of motion. And again, working within your comfortable range of motion. And if, uh, especially the next one, if that doesn't feel good, feel free not to do it at all. Or, or pick just one axis of that movement and do just that. Okay, two more, everybody. So, um, I, like I said, I, I called Kat and I asked about uh, the Wednesday night dinner. Like he said, if your power goes out or you just don't want to cook, it is um, turkey tetrazzini up and over, everybody. And again, your choice of where you're going with that. I'm just going to use the strap and use that to pull myself through. that, shake it out a little bit if you need to. Um, roll your shoulders up and back again. We'll do our pectoral. So we're just gonna open up, point our thumbs to the back, opening up, chest uh, proud. Again, pectoral muscle is a fan-shaped muscle. So we're gonna come up and intricately shine. Obviously my coffee table normally lives here and it's not here. So she's thinking she's found all new things to explore. Um, and then, once you get up to the top, go back and find that, that one uh, specific area that felt a little tight. Go back and do that one a couple more times. Okay, last one, everybody. Um, and again, this is one of those ones where if this, you don't think this is going to feel good for yourself, don't do it. We're going to interlace our fingers. We're going to open up our palms and then um, hands up. A little bit of a spinal twist. Ooh, and again, if you're in a chair, you can actually use it to help pull you around a little bit more. But again, if you're just waking up, be nice to yourself, be um, be safe. And I just remember I wasn't talking loud enough. Sorry about that. Nice deep breath, everyone. On back, same thing other side, interlace your fingers, come on around, spinal twist. Nice deep breath, feel that rib really expand. Breathing into your abdomen. And come forward, we're going to do a forward fold. And again, like I said, this one, if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. We're going to come on forward, curling on down, dropping the glasses off, and just kind of sink in here for, again, one of those, like, probably about four breaths. And here comes the face up here. So as you come up, if your back is strong enough to lift up with your back muscles, great. If not, go ahead and put your hands on your knees and, and use your arms to assist you in um, coming back up. Um, you know, while we're here, let's do our hands and feet. So uh, forearm stretch, a uh, bent elbow is, uh, is an easier way to do it. Straight elbow is a little bit harder. Again, you have muscles in your forearm that cross not only the fingers and the forearm, but also the elbow. So um, this is a little more, uh, aggressive than, than this guy. Um, but again, make sure that shoulder stays down, okay? Oh, nice deep breath. Flip your hand around, go the other way. Same, same concept, uh, bent elbow is, is a little bit easier. Straight elbow is a little bit harder. Curling down. 
uh, great. So if, if any of my tennis players are out there, this is a great stretch for you for tennis elbow. So nice deep breath. Shake it out a little bit. Same thing, other hand. Uh, wrist flexors. We are also still at the tail chasing stage. So she's looking at her tail like, what is that thing following me around? I will say, for it rained fairly consistently, we didn't get all that much rain because we have a rain barrel and it's not full. And usually, if it gets, I think it's usually about three quarters of an inch, the rain barrel's full. So it just didn't rain here very much last night. So that's okay. A little bit of nice, gentle soaking is better than um, a deluge all at once, especially with all the fires. Switch over our wrist, uh, wrist extensors. Same thing, shoulder down. Um, so I did see a little bit of green on the way into the club yesterday uh, in some of the burn areas around us. So that's a, that's a good thing. Get the, get the roots in the soil and then uh, we won't have so much erosion. Go ahead and shake that out. Uh, go and put your thumbs on your thighs and just kind of roll those around. Again, there's a lot of muscles in your thumb. Find that angle that works for you. See, I never had kids, so this is my experience with bad children, because she knows she's also not supposed to go upstairs. Um, but she's like, she's busy. She's not going to stop me. Daddy, come on. When, when you're done with your thumbs, interlace your fingers again, just open up your palms. Oh, feels pretty darn good. Especially if you spend all day grasping uh, things in your hands. I am a rotten dog. Shake it out. Um, so we are going to um, do our hip opener seated. Uh, just again, if you're somewhere and you can't get on the ground, you, if you put your ankle on your other knee, what you do is you did, then do a forward fold into it versus pulling the knees up towards your chest. You go the other way. Get a nice hip opener. Oh, nice deep breath. One more nice deep breath, everybody. Go ahead and unwind out of that. Put that foot down, put the other one up. Oh, this is the harder one. Uh, same thing, uh, forward fold. The, the problem with this one and not doing it with us face up is that it's a little bit harder to um, play with the angle, to get that perfect angle for the stretch on that muscle. So, um, like I said, it's 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 a great thing to do if you can't get down on the floor, but it may not be as as nice as doing it face up or even doing classic pigeon face down. Okay, one more nice deep breath, everybody. And then up. We're going to go back to the other foot because we can do feet today. Um, so, uh, you know, just socks on, socks off, wherever you, wherever you like. So, um, and again, my class has heard this before. We have three arches in our foot. We have the big one that we all know about. We also have one on this side of the, um, the foot, but we also have one that goes right underneath our toes. And what happens is, um, so we're going we're gonna to push up this way into our um, pad of our foot and the curl the toes down. Uh, so when you get an aroma, what happens is, is this tar arch, the one right below your toes, um, drops. Just like uh, carpal tunnel a lot of times, that, that's part of uh, the, the, the arch dropping in your wrist too. We're just gonna push the, the, the curl the toes down, push, push the pad up, and hopefully reestablish that arch a little bit and um, prevent getting an aroma. 
And again, if, if that feels kind of weird and you want to go the other way, you absolutely can. That's not going to um, help with the neuroma, uh, but it will help stretch out a little bit of plantar fasciitis. And then just for good foot hygiene, go ahead and grab your heel. And we're just going to twist open and twist close. So I'm doing, I'm doing this with my foot, with my forefoot. I'm holding my hind foot stable and I'm twisting my forefoot. Um, you know, luckily we don't wear so many high heels anymore, but I had a lady, really nice woman, uh, who, uh, uh, you know, was very petite and wore high heels. She was a business lady. She wore high heels every day of a working life. And um, her feet were like rocks. You know, so after 20 years of practice, I finally got her feet a little bit loosened up. Of course, she had to give up wearing high heels because um, she, she started having some balance issues and her feet were killing her. Um, so, uh, you know, it's good to keep your feet healthy because let's face it, we need them every day. So first thing, reestablish that arch. Um, your big words for the day are metatarsal phalangeal joints. Uh, say that three times fast. Just reestablishing that arch. Feels pretty good. If you want to rub your foot, you can. Uh, best with a little bit of a fist and rubbing the knuckles. Open up your toes if you like. And then again, uh, reestablishing just a little bit of uh, motion in your foot. So, and again, with this being home, we're going to do uh, some of our normal stretches a little bit differently today, uh, just because we, we can. Um, the first one I'm going to say to do is we're going to do our some of our leg stretches. So because I've got the chair here, I, I'm going to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it as a stabilizer. I'm going to sink back, bend into my knee, and I'm going to do a bent kneecap stretch. So again, this is static, not active, isolated, but you, you get the impression you're going to engage your core, tucking it in, um, keeping, keeping your old back safe. Shoulders down. Nice deep breath. Ooh. I really am glad Kristen offered me this. I'm just thinking it would be so cold and windy at the club today. Oh. I remember that one, that big year we had, it had to either been the winter of 1982 to 83 or 83 to 84. Lock out that knee, uh, straight leg calf stretch, same concept as our forearms where we're stretching the shorter muscles first and then stretching the longer muscles across more joints second. Um, the bridge uh, right down there by the plunge as you go um, just, just north of Monte Road uh, on the south end was underwater. I would start out in the fast lane, and by the time I got off the bridge, I'd be in the slow lane. So we've had some big weather years, I and mean, uh, I know we need the water, but I don't want it to be that big. Uh, they they brace the bridge, by the way, if you if you didn't know that. Um, go ahead and come on out of that. Switch to the other leg. Same thing. Bend into your knee first. Bent knee uh, calf stretch. Then easy stretches you can do at home without getting on the floor. Oh, nice deep breath. Lock out that leg, straight leg uh, calf stretch. Again, core is engaged, getting a little bit of, um, also a little bit of a hip flexor stretch on that same leg that I'm stretching the calf. Another nice thing we can do while we're at home is to um, do our subscapular stretch. That was a classic one we either did coming out of child's pose or on the ball. And again, what you're doing is you're just going to grab a hold of, of the top of the chair and you're going to sink back into that. The goal is to get your elbows uh, behind your shoulders. And again, if that doesn't work for your body, that just doesn't feel good, 
Of course, my left one is always my worst shoulder, so I'm going to put that one on the bottom so it's not going to stretch quite as much as our, my right one. And this is a great thing you do on the back of your sofa, uh, on your kitchen countertop, whatever. Um, nice stretch subscapularis. You got another one of our rotator cuff muscles. And of course, if you want to get that side angle in there, you always can. You can just open up uh, the side towards the camera, kind of leaning in there, opening up my whole side body. Nice deep stretch. Come on back to center, shift your weight the other way. Right, come on up. And again, if, if your back is bad and you need to help yourself out with your hands, please do. If not, um, we'll come into a full forward fold, a little bit of a hamstring stretch. And of course, the variation on that one is, is if that does not feel good to you and that hurts your low back, again, if you've got the chair near home, you can modify it. So again, just stretching one this way, but again, a nice modification. You don't have to get down so far. It's not always a good idea to stretch, uh, to to stretch the muscle and then have to use it to get yourself out of the position. So this is a nice compromise. If you're at home and again, you don't want to get down the floor and you don't have to scrap. Coming on up, we did one leg, we'll do the other. We don't want to walk in a circle all week. And then I'll show you a variation on our uh, piriformis or our pectoralis stretch too. Coming on out of that. So pectoralis, easy stretch while you're at home is get yourself in a door jam and just turn away from your shoulder. So opening up that whole chest. Again, static stretch in this position. Um, and again, you can just lean into it. it it's pretty safe because again, you're in control of what the, how far you ankle away. Just be nice to yourself. I'm gonna do uh, the other side over here just because I don't wanna turn my back to you because I, for some reason, my mic does not work in my house. Um, so, like I said, I keep trying to try to remind myself to talk loudly to you so you can all hear me. Okay, come on down, roll your shoulders a couple times. Uh, I'm going to get down on the floor. There will be puppy licking. I'm just telling you. She could, she could pleasantly surprise me, but I'm not thinking that's happening. So again, if you're at home, uh, you can actually uh, just lay on your couch, lay on your bed, whatever is comfortable for you. I'm going to get down on the floor. We're going to do variations of some of the stuff we already did. First thing, we're going to pull both knees into our chest, just give ourselves a nice hug. Rock back and forth a little bit, massage your low back. Roll your ankles around a little bit. Roll them the other way. And then we're going to um, come into our pigeon again, our supine pigeon. Uh, noticing the difference between when we did this seated. Want up, switch legs. Over. It's a little bit of different. Uh, it will get a better angle on uh, doing it this way than I think either the seated or the um, prone position. Come 
of that. Again, we've got the strap, and we're going to, um, we're not going to do very many of these because we did them all standing, but we're uh, going to do the variations. We're going to bend into our knee, uh, toes towards the nose is the stretch, toes towards the ceiling is the contraction. So probably just five of each today. One more. Hey, by the way, <laughs> lock that in. Those of you that have never Zoomed before, welcome to Zoom. It's not that bad. It is a weird format in that I really wish we could uh, do portrait angle, not landscape. But, uh, you know, it's so much better than not having any, any outlet. So. Last one, everybody. Go ahead and move your strap to your instep, drop that heel down towards the floor, drive it up towards the sky. And again, if you are new to Zoom and you're thinking, I don't have any straps at home, grab a belt, grab a dog leash, um, even a long towel in some instances, uh, maybe a, a necktie, hopefully you're retired, you don't need those things for anything else anymore. Okay, last one, everybody. Go ahead and lock out your knee, drop that whole leg down as unit, lift up using your hip flexors. And yes, you are right. I forgot to show you the standing hip flexor stretch. Actually, we'll go back and we'll do that. I, I've got some good hip flexor stretches that we can do standing or using the chair. Yeah, if anything this year has taught all of us, I think, is be flexible in your planning. This time yesterday, I was telling you all, well, in an hour, I was telling you all, yeah, tomorrow it's going to be cool. Then we'll be doing warm ups. Oh, well. One more, everybody. Come on up. Take the tension. Release the tension. Drop that leg across your midline. Opening up the outside of your hip. Leave this hip on the floor, though. We're not going to do a spinal twist today, just because, like I said, I don't want to turn away from you because I'm not sure uh, how, how well the volume is, is coming through. Um, But what we are going to do is we're going to do the opposite. We're going to do a little adductor stretch. We're just going to open up. And again, your opposite hip should stay flat on the floor. So that's where you're at. And again, 20, 30 count over here. Oh, boy. Coming on up, switching to the other foot. Again, bend uh, the strap on, on the, the, the pad of your foot. Toes towards the nose is the stretch. Toes towards the ceiling is the release. There are parts of Zoom that I feel like it's the um, realtor's tour of my house. Because of course, my, my Monday at 11.30 class I do in my kitchen because it's Tai Chi. We're doing a lot of movement and it's just a little bit safer to be on the hard surface than on the carpet. Um, when this all started, we were doing it in my in my treatment room, thinking that was better. But I, I think this is probably better now. So okay. last one. Go ahead and lock out your knees, same motion with your ankle. Toes towards the nose is the stretch. Toes towards the ceiling is the is the contraction. Go ahead and move that strap to your instep, drop that heel down towards the floor, drive it up towards the ceiling. So those of you that are normally my lawn people that have never been on Zoom before, it's so hopefully you found it fairly uh, easy and intuitive to get on there. The other thing I will say is I know um, with some other folks there was a concern. Uh, they went to the app and the link wasn't on the app. Every Sunday, Nancy sends you an email with all the links for all the clubs. So you don't have to do just Apple Band Lab Club. That's why I was saying if there's anybody from any other clubs out there. And I frequently get folks from um, Oakland. So, hey, my Pokeball out there, yay. 
Um, go ahead and lock out your knee, drop that whole leg down as a unit. Um, but if you get that Sunday night email, be sure and, and open it up, check it out. Um, the links are fairly easy to use. Apparently, you can opt out of getting that email though. So if you if you're not getting that email, a check your spam folder. You know, like I said, if you got the link for me because I sent the email out, okay, but you're not getting the other email on Sunday night, check your spam folder, um, and or make sure that you haven't opted out of the notifications from the club. Those were the two concerns that um, they had with people that thought they weren't getting the email. And I lost my count, so we're going to do one more. Take the tension, and again, release the tension, drop that leg across your midline, open up the outside of your hip. Okay, open up a little bit of an adductor stretch. I'm gonna cheat and just lay my leg on my chair. So again, if you're home and your couch is in your way, just lay your leg on the couch and it's not your way. Okay, but it is easier with the strap to pull it back on up. So go ahead and set your strap aside. Give yourself a nice hug again. Oh, blow your ankles around a little bit. Reestablish your low back arch if you need to. We're going to take a big full body stretch. So loosen up, take a nice deep breath, tighten everything up, hold your breath. And then on the exhale, go and release. Do one more. We're going to come into a seated position on the floor. Um, just some of these work better. We're going to do our adductors. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the sole floor feet together. We get sitting up nice and tall. We're going to hinge from our hips first and then drop our torso into it once all the range of motion has come out of here and then we can release our upper back. Somebody decided we were boring and she went to sleep. But like I said, she had to do all the things she's not allowed to do. Go upstairs, get on the couch by herself. <laughs> It's like, okay, whatever. Whatever works today. Larry had to go into work early, so he couldn't uh, he couldn't be the babysitter. Okay, come on up, come on out. Go ahead and put your right leg out, sit up nice and tall again. This time we're gonna uh, turn our whole torso to the right. The goal is to get our sternum on our on our uh, patella, our, our breastbone on our kneecap. But again, it's a goal. We're not getting there today. Hinging from the hips first. And then again, once you've really got all the range of motion out of the hips, then you can really sharpen the torso. Great place for the strap. It'll give you a little bit of an assist getting you down there if you can't quite reach. Oh, a nice deep breath. So again, when you're ready, come on up. And if you need to assist with your hands, go ahead, keep yourself safe. Come on up, switch to the other leg. Sit up nice and tall, turn your torso, come on down. Inch from your hips first and then release your upper body. Coming up safely, both feet out, sit up nice and tall again, uh, heart going forward to begin with, and then again, once you've got all that range of motion out of um, your, your your hips, you can release your upper torso. And again, if you're at home and you've got a couch pillow or something, we'll put on your, on your um, elbows to help keep you up a little bit more than this, that is just great. Oh, nice deep breath, everybody.
Cool. So my goals today are if the power stays on, I'm going to do paperwork and study. If power goes out, I have a Janet Ivanovich book I'm going to read uh, and, and bake some cookies. So big, big goals for the day. Hopefully get the puppy out uh, for a walk. Hopefully if there's a break in the weather, get a little bit of that puppy energy out of her. So come on up. We're going to do our lateral. So we're just going to come up and over. So we're reaching for our toes with this hand, but of course we're not getting there. Okay, come on over, same thing, other side. Oh, and again, sitting deep into your right sit bone. If you're if you're stretching towards the left, sit deep into your right sit bone. Okay, everybody? Nice deep breath. Ooh. Come on up. Um, go ahead and get into a comfortable seated position, whatever that looks like. We're going to do a little bit of a spinal twist. So we're going to interlace our fingers. Come on up. Shoulder blades down our back. Turn to the right. And again, if you want to open up the shoulder, you're going to point your fingertips back towards the back wall. On forward, same thing, other side, interlace your fingers, come on up, roll them down your back, turn to the other side. Back, roll your shoulders a couple times. Um, I promise you the standing uh, hip flexor stretches. So let's do those. Um, come on up, kind of stand up with me. The first one we're going to do is you've all seen the runners do it. It's just this guy, but I'm going to give you some um, some tips to do it more safely. What I'm going to say is your primary hip flexor comes from the front of your lumbar spine into your groin. And so the, the cheat is you arch your back. So what you want to do is you want to engage your core. You want to tuck your uh, pelvis forward. And you can see I lose a little bit of that angle of stretch, but I'm actually getting a better stretch and a safer for my low back stretch. So it's here. Again, you're at home, grab hold of something. Hold on. We're going to do just a, a couple seconds of that because we're going to switch to the other side to make ourselves even. And then um, I really do need to hold on to this one. At least when I get in position, and then sometimes I can use it as a balance pose. Um, but I'll also show you how to do it oh, sitting in a chair, a little bit of modification. Come on out of that. While we are here, let's do our, um, our, our balance challenges because we normally do that in class. That's been our request. I will say, if you're on the carpet, it's a little harder than if you normally do it on the nice, like hard floor, like my tile during the entryway. Um, so your choice, and again, of course, if you get on, then the squishy uh, mat is even harder. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just our standard uh, hands up and back. I'm gonna, my, you're gonna lose my um, arms, but again, big, bigger balance challenge being on the less stable surface. And if you look around the club, there's actually uh, one of these mats that's about two inches thick. If you really think your balance is doing great. And of course, also um, we have our BOSU balls. So you can also use those. We're going to come out to the ankle. Oh, I lost that one. Um, shoulders down. In an homage to the wind, we will come up into tree in the wind or starfish. Okay, come on down everybody, same thing other foot. 
Well, we all know this is my worst foot, so we'll see how I do with this one with the, with the mat. Yeah, really can't do that one this well with this. Come on out. But again, it's better to challenge yourself in a safe setting like this. Of course, if you need to have Danielle's hand. Um, better to challenge yourself in a safe setting like this where you're totally concentrated on this than to be out in public and trip over the parking curb and, and not be able to pitch your balance. So um, better, like I said, to practice it here. You can, and like I said, I know you're losing my head. Sorry about that. But like I said, I got the, got the map here. Um, so you can regain your balance. It's just like strength training. So if you, um, if you practice your balance, it will get better. Uh, come on down. Enough of that silliness. I um, could barely do that, obviously. We'll come back where I can see my head. Uh, roll your shoulders up and down a little bit. So if you've got a chair, let me move it out a little bit. Um, if you're seated, and of course we've done this on the ball, what you're going to do is you're just going to drop to the side and drop that knee back. A little bit of a nice, easy hip flexor stretch. Um, from the side, it looks like this. So the goal is always to get your knee behind your hip, but again, engaging your torso so that you are not hyperextending your low back. So nice easy stretch. We'll hang in this one a little bit longer. Um, you know, I'm not my joke about falling off the stage. This is this is about as tight as this muscle group is gonna go. It's like I've got my hip bow back and my knee bent and it's tight. So primary hip flexor is your iliopsoas muscle, like I say it comes from the front of your lumbar spine into your groin. Secondary hip flexor is your rectus femoris. Uh, so I've got both of them engaged right now, and I my my muscles quivering at me. It's like, what are you doing? You never do this to me. Why? Um, go ahead, come back with that leg, switch to the other side. Super easy in the chair. We're just doing this. And again, make it back a little farther. Engage your core. Oh, nice deep stretch. One more nice deep breath, everybody. Come on back uh, into the middle. We're going to roll our shoulders up and back and down one more time. We're going to drop our head to the side. We're going to roll forward, back and forth. And we're going to do that a couple of times. And then we're going to find that spot that um, if it still doesn't feel right, we're going to nod into that a couple of times. And then come on down, your head up, shoulders back, open up your heart one more time. Nice deep breath. Come on down, we're okay. taking three nice deep breaths. Again, in Tai Chi, we breathe in the good. We exhale any energy that's not working for us. One more time. Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for the flexibility of the club allowing me to Zoom from home and uh, keeping us all at home, keeping us safer. And again, the club is open. There is power. And uh, Chef Arturo is still doing his uh, Wednesday night dinner if you want to call and make a reservation to get dinner. So thank you all. I will see you on the lawn uh, next Tuesday and Wednesday. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everybody.